Cool. Oh, it's no. Iron Spider. Defeat Doctor Doom. Wait, how am I supposed to defeat Doctor Doom if I don't have a... I'm just uh, watching Doom <laughs> destruct everything in the middle of the map. I'm gonna start hitting his ankles. <laughs> Ow! Oh, a chest. Thank you. Iron Man chest. <laughs> We're in business now. Doom is screwed now. Uh, this guy's got a lot of health. Can I ram attack him? Let's find out. No, it doesn't let me. Why can I not get close to this guy? Everyone keep firing at him. We got this. Okay, Captain Jones. Gwenpool says, please don't tell me you brought a common tier weapon to the showdown. <laughs> That's real. Ow. Yeah, I'm dead in one here. So I'm not going to lie. After I died, I really thought the event was like kind of over. I thought it was going to take a while to take out Dr. Doom. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go rush and try to get my video out as quickly as possible. I'm going to go start editing. Well, I had no idea that Doom was just going to have a quickie. I didn't know he was going to be in the game for like maybe 50 minutes at the most. But luckily, I knew someone that stayed in the game and saw the ending to this Dr. Doom mini event. So I'm going to be reacting to the ending of it since I couldn't participate in it. He is super powerful. Like... I don't understand like how we took him out so fast to be honest with you like he's got pandora's power dr doom is already powerful as it is without pandora's powers he has this new like forged armor i don't it blows my mind that we were able to take him out so fast like i really thought he was gonna win he looks so cool though he looks so good in game i think here he's close to being done I think, I think he's like really low health at this point. Look how big he is. Oh my god. Whoop. Oh. All right, so the Rift is here. This is the Rift him back to 616, which is a huge Marvel comic fan. I feel indifferent about, but it is what it is. Ooh. There's the Rift from the Beacon. Oh, he looks so good there. He looks so good right here. He has no idea what's about to happen. Are ready. Which really isn't Victor Bond Doom's personality, to be honest with you. He's always pretty paranoid, and he's really, like... And he kind of plans for, like, everything. as, as In the comics, at least. So... I'm kind of surprised they went this direction for the writing. Dang, he's gonna get rifted away in Storm. Look at everybody that stayed in Storm. That is crazy. 
Oh my gosh. I can hear the pump shotgun going off over and over. Oh, yep. Look at Valeria right in the middle, watching him go away. So Pandora's powers are being sucked out, it looks like, and sending him to back to 616. I think he'll be back though. Like we still have one more event this season. That was pretty cool. Hey. Wait, that's cool. <laughs> Defeated Dr. Doom. Even though I do think he's going to come back. Like I said, I left early because I thought it was going to take a while to take out Dr. Doom. Similar to like the Titan hand in chapter 5 season 1 when we had to break free Pandora's box. So I was like, I'm going to go edit this cutscene, the first part of this event really quick and get the video out. Had no idea it was going to be done within an hour. Now, just to wrap up this video, my final thoughts on this event was I think it was solid. Like it wasn't great. It wasn't spectacular. I know it's a mini event. Like it was good for a mini event. But overall, I thought it was like it was solid. It wasn't bad in any way. I feel like people are being over the top on like calling it like one of the greatest events ever or calling it like the worst event ever. Like it's it's neither of those. It's just right in the middle. It was good. It definitely felt like a part one, which is kind of weird because it didn't really end on a cliffhanger, but I definitely feel like Doom is going to be back. Also, I feel like they did Dr. Doom a little dirty uh, just because he is one of Marvel's greatest villains. They built him up like he has all these trophies right in his castle, like the Fantastic Four, Moon Knight, Thanos, Ultron, like he has all these trophies and they built him up so well. And it just kind of felt like this part was a letdown as far as the character. He has new armor. He has Pandora's energy and it felt like we just did defeated him too easy like there's no cliffhanger there's like oh what's gonna happen next we just know there's gonna be another event because of leakers also i would really like it for these events especially if they're gonna have cutscenes and they're gonna be interactive i would really like it if epic turned off like pvp elimination it's so annoying because like within a 10 minute span i had to load into three different games because people were eliminating me while i was by the timer waiting for the event i had no loot on me or anything because i thought everyone would just be chilling but of course that's not how it works with fortnite kids and it's something that like is a big deal like this even though it's a mini event it still plays into the story and the gameplay the beacons got sent to different locations which is going to activate the pumpkin locations at like grand glacier and brawlers battleground this was still a big deal people could have been eliminated like 30 seconds before the event starts and then they miss it because they have to come back into the game this needed to be marketed better they needed to turn off pvp there needed to be a cliffhanger and i definitely felt like dr doom should have caused more destruction and probably eliminated a couple more players before we sent them away but like i said it was still good it was solid i didn't hate it i didn't love it but let me know in the comments how you felt about the event be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and use code tune spider in the item shop have a great rest of your day peace